uh, the, 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 the next um, ruling that I don't believe that this one has particularly come out yet from the Supreme Court is about uh, West Virginia versus the EPA. Right. This is, uh, you know, obviously based around um, coal mining regulations. I do believe, um, honestly, I did not do a whole lot of research on it. Um, this is one that directly impacts the current administration's efforts to, you know, m you know, move to greener energy. Right. So, I mean, I mean, which is the reason for inflation right now, by the way? Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. That's. Can't build solar panels overnight. No. Or wind turbines. Or, or make things more viable than they actually are. I, actually, uh, oddly enough, I mean, this is kind of like off topic and everything, but someone had told me that wind turbines are actually way worse for the environment because apparently they have like seals, you know, in, in their spinning mechanism because they have to obviously lubricate those things. Right. Yeah. So anytime, and this apparently happens quite often, one of those seals fail, they dump like 1,200 gallons of oil. That is a lot of oil. <laughs> that is a lot of oil into the ground or sea or, you know, wherever they're placed. Right. But, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm not on the Yeah, I mean, like I said, that, I mean, I don't know that for a fact either. That was just what I was, you know, right. told. But, yeah. but, but as we, as, as we did learn, um, while I, while I was doing my energy type things, um, that the, they can't be used everywhere. Wind turbines yes, cannot sir. be used everywhere. You need wind. You need wind, right? Period, end store. You can't, you can't have set up wind turbines in the middle of a city and expect them to catch air that the, that the, uh, skyscrapers are blocking. True. Very true. Also, I don't, I don't think we ever did a nuclear energy one. Um, I don't, I don't remember if we did or not. Did not. You all, you also have to, you have to think about the amount in order to, to plant, um, these wind turbines, you have to have a lot of flat, bare ground around it. What do you have to do to make flat, bare ground a lot of times in most places? Bulldoze shit. Take out the forest. So now, now you're doing deforestation while you're creating these wind turbine fields. In other words, decreasing oxygen. Right. Because obviously we know the process of photosynthesis produces oxygen that we all breathe. Right. So... Yeah, it's like lose lose. Yeah. What do you? I mean, let's be honest. The system that we have been on has been working for you know how long? You know, 150 years. It's obviously going to. Why be are we trying to you know make a game changing you know too fast? It's too. It's basically you're moving things too fast. You're hurting people's lives. Um, they don't care about people, though. They just care about pushing this agenda. And I mean, I mean, I, I really struggle to kind of understand this one. You know, it, it's like, why is this the hill that they want to die on? You know what I mean? It's they they think that it's um, important to a large amount of people. Um, in their voting base, um, enough enough to do. See, see, a lot of the voters enough to do catastrophic yeah. damage to the economy. Correct. In order to achieve this particular goal, a lot of the voters want these things, right? A lot of voters want clean energy, green energy. I mean, yeah, I it, do too. It, it'd be nice, yeah. but I mean, we can't. Yeah, as you you know, kind of stated, right. make a you know catastrophic shift in that direction without you know you know pre-planning and there's you know, getting the basic infrastructure correct. in place in my opinion in order to be able to sustain where we are at everything has consequences yeah 
whether whether it's a good thing you're doing or a bad thing you're doing, there's consequences. There's good consequences. There's bad consequences. This is how we this is how we live our lives. We live our lives trying to make the best decisions for ourselves. If you if you're if you're if you want to be a rich, wealthy CEO of a company, you're basically giving up all the rest of your the life that you could be living. You're not going out and partying. You're not going. You're not uh, going out and doing the things that you want. You're working extremely hard for the outcome that you want. There's there's weights. There's weights that you have to try to decide what's best for you, what's best for this country in the long run and in the short term. And right now in the short term, we are extremely damaging the uh, economy trying to, to make this a greener place, but we don't have the technology in place to make it well, I wouldn't say the technology. I'd say we don't have the infrastructure in place, right? In order to make you know make it you know sustainable, right? Right. Like I like I said, yeah. I mean, you may reduce you know carbon emissions on one side, right? By the particular policies and everything that you know are instituted. However, you're going to see prices on stuff yep. rise because you don't have the you know amount of energy we will say available to use because you're pulling the trigger too early i would i would say it's not only just that you have to understand the the world that we live in as well there are barbarians at the gate as it as it's as it would say Go on. if if we if, in in our process of trying to make this country uh, greener there are other countries and leaders out there that do not care about that and want to make things the most proficient as possible which um, gives the, they're they're gonna they're gonna fill these gaps of power that we have been giving up by trying to go in a direction that basically isn't extremely viable for us right now at this point. I have to assume you're talking about China. Well, I mean, they're not the only ones. You got Russia, you got China, and uh, you got they're just teaming up. And there's a, there's all kinds of countries around the world that do not like us and really would prefer not to work with us if they had the choice. And like I said, these pockets of power are picking up. If you look at a map and say that the most the um, Import and export coming out of that country. Um, tw Ten or fifteen years ago, the entire, almost the entire world would have been basically the United States. They would have been doing business mostly with the United States. If you look at a map currently today, that has completely shifted to China. China right now economically. Um, with trade imports and exports is right now the most um, powerful country in the world. Yeah, I mean, that's realistically a fair assessment. 